Brethren, these are some of the things that so many people have tried enough, but yet they could not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Love covers everything. So let us practice love. We are not saying we don't love. But we have to put it in practice. Love cannot hide. If you do not even love God, your worshiping will be in vain. Brethren, we don't want to fast in vain. Some of us has abandoned our favorite foods and drinks. We don't want this to be in vain. Therefore, let us do everything that we do in the house of God with love. So that we will save somebody's life in the name of Jesus. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Let us quickly open our Bibles to the book of Luke chapter 5. The book of Luke chapter 5, we are going to read from the verse 27. Luke chapter 5, 27. Sister Abby, are you there please? Yes, please. Can you please start for us? If I show you, I share King Cassam the wall. Look at them, but it's a new and you move at your song and at your new song. Sorry. If I show you, I say, Lovey Fred, my yes, you know, go free a day. No, go who to two genie be a dingy lady. That I told you, eh? Now, I'll catch you and say, Dimachi. Now, Jabby, be around, sorry, be in a cheek. Now, let me so the book of the TV one is here. I took the phone in the pocket of tea. Me won't be now. Now, won't trust. Now, won't trust for the Pharisee for me. Me, send a sure for no say. I didn't see that more. What told you for any more? Yes, for the D. Amen. Hang on, my sister. Let me take the English first before we proceed. Luke chapter 5, I'm reading from the verse 27 to 30. After these things, he went out and saw a tax collector named Levi sitting at the tax office. And he said to him, follow me. So he left all, rose up and followed him. Then Levi gave him a great feast in his own house. And there were a great number of tax collectors and others who sat down with them. 30. And they are, and their scribes and the Pharisees complained against him, against his disciples, saying, Why do you eat and drink with tax collectors and sinners? Amen. Amen. Brethren. I want us to know something here. We all know that Jesus Christ came as a son of God. We all know that he was God himself. That came to this world and died for mankind. Everything that he did here on earth shows that he is God. For the Pharisees and the Sadducees to stand against him in terms of dining with sinners means that they knew where he came from. The Pharisee for the Sadducee for no, sorry, a general etiano, 
and I'm saying now, ne, eh, a two four, ne, a bonnet four, a didn't you know, and no chess away in a me. Amen. Amen. So the Bible says, This Jesus said that I and you are following. And put a trust of the say, Yes, you Christ, I mean, no, you didn't achieve. He is the Son of God and God Himself. He came here on earth. And the Bible says, as he was walking about with his disciples, he saw a man called Levi. No, he called Levi. The name was Levi. His name was Levi. That man. Ah, now Papa, your friend is Lewi. And this man was a tax collector. Ah, uh, now uh, we are uh, to do for. In those days, when we say tax collector, they are the people that people hates a lot. Amen. Amen. If you go to the African continent, these tax collectors present themselves as Lampo collectors. They go about in houses. They go about in cities. They go about in towns. And they will be collecting this lampo. They are not bothered if you are an old person or not. They have been sent to collect this money and they will collect it by force. At times they will even not take the money to the authorities. They put it in their pocket and enjoy. So in the same way, these tax collectors were doing so. And every tax collector at that time became a rich man. Because of the kind of their jobs. Brethren, the Lord is driving me and you somewhere. So many Christians look upon the unbelievers. The Lord wants me and you to know that he came for the sinners but not the righteous. The Bible says, as he passed, he saw this levy and called him. And the Bible said this man in a hurry ran after Jesus. And because salvation came to his house at that time, he called Jesus, invited him to his house for a feast. We are talking about going in, in there. To draw souls to the Lord. We used to do so many dubious things. We used to be in a society that does not even know God. We used to have a group that we all go to clubs together. We used to have a group that we all sit at the same table and drink Guinness and beer. We used to have a group that we all go forth out there and say for women. We used to have a group that we all used to be in the same business at night that we prostitute at night. By the Bible said the message of God Almighty found us. And he took us from where we were and now we are where we are now. Brethren, in the intention 
Bible says that we will come to him and then continue the work that he has started. So brethren, it is up to me and you to go out there, regardless of what character they are in, to draw them to the Lord. Amen. The Bible said this Levi was called by Jesus. Even though he was a tax collector. But Jesus called him. But for him to also do something for Jesus to know that he is so glad and so happy, he threw a party for him. And then he uses that party as a channel to invite his fellow task collectors to come. No. So the Bible says that house was full of tax collectors and sinners. Because this man was once a sinner and has seen the light. He was so happy to let his, his neighbors, his fellow sinners, know this light. And therefore, he invited all of them. Come, come to my come, house. Um, 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 come and dine with me. Um, and the Bible says they all okay. But I'm telling you, it takes I and you who used to be sinners to draw sinners to the Lord. Amen. So I and you have Amen. to go out there to draw sinners because we are familiar to that business. <laughs> Glory be to Jesus. <laughs> Amen. Amen. We were from the same place. We sat on the same bench. We drink the same drink. Glory be to Jesus. So we stand the best position to go out there and bring them. Glory be to Jesus. But before we can do this, we need to exercise love. The Bible says when Jesus Christ was moving about, he has compassion upon people and the, and the Spirit moved him to attend to them. Nowadays, when Christians see sinners, they are even happy for them to perish. When you see them in the city, you stand somewhere and say, all of them will go to hell. <laughs> Forgetting that we were once a sinner. Forgetting that we are still sinners. If the Lord speaking to me and you, hmm. I want you to go out there and, and present yourself as a sinner. Mm. I don't want you to go out there as a holy person. Because we came from where they are now. We used to do the same business. If it is not by the grace of God, we should have turned back by now. Even some Christians even turned back. Brethren, the Lord is speaking to me and you. This is the kind of character that the Lord came to show me and you. To make sure we bring sinners to his house. Glory be to Jesus. Is the Lord speaking to me and you? Amen. 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 So the Bible says, and they are scribes and Pharisees complained. The scribes and Pharisees started complaining. Pharisees for natural, for 
Is he not the son of God? Look at the kind of messages he's speaking to us. He is the son of God. Why is it that he is dining with sinners and task for letters? Glory to Jesus. And it is not him alone, but also his apostles. They are also dining with sinners and task for letters. The Bible said they complained. Bitterly. And Jesus Christ spoke to them. Amen. Amen. Brethren, this is the time that we have to know our calling. The Lord called us from among them. So we can get some knowledge, some wisdom, from some training from the Lord and come back and redeem them. Because he knows he will not be here for long. Therefore, he needs to train some people to go out there. He told Peter, you will be fishers of men. So the Lord wants me and you to know we have to be fishers of men. If we are not drawing souls, then one way or the other, our Christian life is not complete. Because it is the high priority of our Christian lives. The more we draw souls, the more we are getting closer to the Lord. The more we draw souls, the more we are even correcting our ways. Drawing souls to the Lord is a kind of a theory work, a kind of practical work that Christians have to do. It has to be part of our lives. Because our master came to do the same. Our master came and laid down the life for us. So we have to also lay down our lives for these people. And then those people will also lay down their lives for the other people. And then it will be in the process until he comes. Glory be to Jesus. There was a time Jesus Christ was walking with apostles. And they saw some people casting demons in the name of Jesus. These people has not walked with Jesus before. I presume maybe they have heard his name. And they have heard a kind of wonder that he has been doing in that city. So these people also started practicing this, this tense. They go about with the name of Jesus casting demons. And the apostles, because they have not known them, with Christ, they came to Jesus and said, We saw some people casting demons with your name. Brethren, these people don't have to be with that before we love them. We have to love them even though they are not with us. Nowadays, Christians are, are seeking for people to come into their church before they show love. 
Brethren, the Lord is telling me and you, anybody that walk upon this earth is a daughter and the son of God Almighty. Do you know why? Because we all have the breath of God in us. That makes me and you alive. The reason why they are disobedient does not mean that they don't have the spirit of God in them. I and you were once disobedient disobedient and we keep on to be disobedient. So it is very, very important for me and you to go out there and draw them to the Lord. As we draw them to the Lord, that we are being practiced what the Lord has taught us. And as we are practicing what the Lord has taught us, it is making me and you perfect. As we are getting closer to perfection, then heaven will open for me and you. So this so reading is so important in our Christian life. Especially we that the Lord has opened our eyes to know the truth. Yeah, look at the way these worldly churches are, are, are drawing souls to Satan. I will not say to God, to Satan. Because they still don't know the truth. There are some things that are hidden that they don't know. But yet, these people are busy drawing souls. Brethren, let us look at these Jehovah Witnesses people. They are eager to knock any door they set their eyes on. They are ready to go anywhere that they send them. If these people are drawing souls to Satan, then we that the Lord has opened our eyes to know the truth. What are we then doing? We see them and we think they have entered into hell. Glory be to Jesus. Brethren, the Lord is speaking to me and you. If these people will not come to God, the Lord is going to ask us. Those that doesn't have the, the, the total gospel God is not interested in them so much because even when they draw them, they are still not with God. But we that the Lord has given us the truthful gospel. We that the Lord has made us know that with that holiness you cannot see the Lord. We that the Lord has made us know that we need to deal with our heart. We that the Lord has made us know we need to deal with our physical appearance. If we are not able to draw souls to the Lord, then God is going to be disappointed. So, brethren, it is time that we show love to these people. And say that will do the for you. The Bible says Jesus Christ showed love to these task collectors and sinners. Just some say Jesus Christ do the chairs and come for you. We to for you. And he draw them closer to himself. Now, what you know, Amen. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. The Bible says, when these people saw that some people were casting demons with the name of Jesus, 
They told Jesus about it. Should we stop them? Should we call fire to come and burn them all? Should we go and seize them using your name? But the Lord says no. If they are not against us, they are with us. Amen. Some of these unbelievers are not against God. Just that they have not arrived to the truth. So it is our responsibility to show them the truth. So that they will repent and follow Jesus Christ. Glory be to Jesus. Sister, be pleased please read the 31. But your Sabacono. Now, yes, to say, won't say, One hour, one more day, no. A young one will suffer. Now, one hour, Yareno. My friend at the name for, I will be friendly for you for say, One such a one to me. Amen. Are you seeing it? Amen. Are you seeing the purpose of our Lord Jesus Christ on earth? He says, I did not come to call righteous people. But I came to call sinners. I came to make sure that those that are blind will see the light. I came to make sure that people will repent from their sins. I came to make sure that they will turn around from any evil deeds and do good. I came purposely for these sinners. Not those who are righteous. Glory be to Jesus. But our Lord Jesus Christ cannot do this alone. He needs me and you that have been called to his house to do this job with him. But for we to go out there to testify, to witness, we need to show love. So many people don't have love. So many people don't have love. Their love is limited to those who are closer to them. But they cannot extend their love far to draw souls. Brethren, the Lord is speaking to me and you. As we are fastening towards soul winning. Prayer, we will pray. Fasting, we will fast. But we need to go out there and demonstrate what the Lord has taught us. So that souls can be won to the Lord. Brethren, the soul winning is not our business to draw, to, 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 to let them come to Christ. We are not going to force them. But we are letting them know the mind of God. We are letting them know how Jesus loved 
How Jesus is ready to save them, no matter what their sins is. But if we can do all these things, then Jesus will draw the souls to himself. Glory be to Jesus. All that we need to do is to plant. And then water. And then the Lord will increase. Glory be to Jesus. Without planting, there will not be increase. Without watering, there will not be increase. So it is telling me and you that the Lord needs us in this evangelism work. Brethren, we cannot take ourselves out of this. We need to get ourselves involved. We need to work with Jesus hand to hand. So that souls can turn to him. Glory be to Jesus. Say the loudest amen. Amen. Go with me again very quickly to the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter 5. We are reading from the verse 38. Amen. Amen. Matthew 5 38. Is that please? But Amen. Amen. What is Cassie? And see a a na Amen. Amen. But hold on first. Amen. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. Brethren, in our time, Christianity has changed. Because of the death and the resurrection of Jesus. In those olden days, the Israelites were walking alone. The Lord God knew them alone. He uses them to destroy the other peoples. And because of that, the Israelites became a nation for the Lord. And so many laws were given to them. Even within themselves, they started quarreling among themselves. They started fighting among themselves. They started complaining among themselves. And because of that, Moses gave them a law. If somebody take out your eyes, take the person's eyes. In this, a will be a this is something that came in their midst. But in our time, it wasn't so. Why? Because Jesus Christ has come to die for all of us. So now the power of God is not limited to the Israelites alone. His love is not limited to the Israelites alone. His love has been now extended to the whole world. 
Therefore, Jesus Christ is telling me and you that if somebody does something evil to you, don't look at that evil, but pay that person with good. So in that way, you will not be offended if anybody sin against you. That any good thing that you have, you will be ready to share with them. And the If we are going the way that we are loving those who love us, then the gospel of Jesus is going to be limited. So Jesus Christ knew that a time is coming that his gospel has to go far. Because it is through him alone that man can see the Lord. Therefore, no matter what will happen within our midst, we still have to share his word. No matter evil that somebody will do to you, you don't have to hide the good news from them. So he was trying to make it in a way that we would love ourselves in order for us to spread his gospel. So he says, 39, but I tell you not to resist an evil person, but whoever slaps you on the right chain, whoever slaps you, let me take it again, but I tell you not to resist an evil person, but whoever slaps you on the right chain, then turn the other to him also. Amen. When somebody slaps you on the right chain, instead of you to slap the person back, instead of you to be angry with that person, instead of you to not allow that person to be your friend anymore, the Lord is saying, love him. By turning the other side to him. It is not that turn it physically to him to slap again. But he's telling you that apart from all that, love him. As you are ready to turn to the other side, it means that love has taken place in your heart already. So that the good news that made you turn, the good news that made you love, you would disclose to him. Glory be to Jesus. Are you seeing it? So by doing this, the gospel will spread fast. He doesn't want those who have the word of God to keep bitterness, hatred in them. He doesn't want us to keep any sin that will prevent us from going to others or loving others in us. So that we can easily, freely distribute his word. That is why Apostle Paul told Timothy that don't share this good news with unfaithful men. Unfaithful, unfaithful men. Because unfaithful men have something hidden in their heart. 
Glory be to Jesus. Some of Stephen is very tired. Though. Can somebody help, Pastor? You are tired. You are tired. You are tired. Rest. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. Amen. So this is what the Lord is saying. We have to make sure that we will deliver the good news in us to the people. Therefore, we don't have to have grudges with anybody. Are you getting it? Amen. 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 If you have grudges with somebody, you cannot give the person the good news. So as the Lord has given us these truthful words and allowing us to go out there, we need to cleanse our hearts. We need to allow love to take over our lives. So that we will not prevent this truthful message from them. But you so that we will not prevent this truthful message from them. Amen. Amen. Is the Lord speaking? Are we understanding this? But you are the AKC. Amen. Amen. So, so on your coupon, I didn't send past your menu one more. Obesa wa chile se, minu mi enu yen kwa abonti kwa kena se. Amen. Asemu na wadi ashe minu mi enu anono. E ya asemu di nipo anko wa kwa jimu. E be ye dene nipo na wabonti na te. Asemu kru jiyi se wadi nipo na wasemu wa. E nu ti wa chile wa se. Se obi pa wa sum ben kuma adani ni fama no. Ni obesa wa chile de se. Don't keep grudges. Don't keep bitterness in you. Because you are carrying a gospel. And this gospel is supposed to make a way for sinners. You have something that has to break people free. Amen. Amen. You have something that will give life. If we are so angry with people, we will never disclose this message to them. Because we want them to perish. Are you understanding it? It is like a doctor who has had a problem with somebody. And when that person got sick, came to the hospital, he says, I will not attend to you. Because I have a problem with you. If So I will leave you to die. Are you understanding it? Glory be to Jesus. So the Lord wants me and you to cleanse our heart, to love every single person. Whether that person is our enemy or not, we have to love them. So that we can give them the rightful message. Glory be to Jesus. That is why the Bible says, God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son. So I don't know the criminal So ever believes in this son will not perish. But have internal life. The love of the world came first. 
No, the love of the world. It came into the heart of God Almighty first. Before he gave his only begotten son. So we cannot give these people the message without loving them. Are you getting it? Are you understanding this? But if you think you don't love, then don't worry yourself to go out there. Because you will not deliver the full message. You still have something keeping in your heart. You have not shown love to them. You have not given them love. So, the message that you are presenting is not complete. It's better you stay home. And love them first. If you love them, you give them everything that you have. Jesus Christ told the apostles. He says, I am not calling you my slaves again, but I'm calling you my friends and my brethren. Because I have given you everything that my father has given to me. I have not heard anything back because of the love I have for you. Glory be to Jesus. So the Lord wants us to love first and then we will be ready to deliver his truthful word to people. So he says, don't hold grudges with anybody. When that person slaps you, turn the other chain to, to, that, to them. In doing this, love has taken seed in you. And then you will not hate them. And you will be ready to deliver my message to them. Glory be to Jesus. At times you will be going to evangelism, you will see, you will get to a place that somebody has wronged you there, you will not pass there. You will get there, they will be sitting there, and you say, oh, look at them, I will not even give to you. You go to hell. Are you getting it? Glory be to Jesus. Amen. Amen. So he says, 40, if anyone wants to sue you and take away your tonic, let him have your cloak also. If somebody wants to take you to court and take your dress, give him the rest. So me person I don't quite say need be answered. Of how we are the we are clean in our family. All this that the Jesus is saying is that try to create peace with your enemies. Yeah, yeah, the Jesus can be in our say yeah, she say. The Bible says we are bad day. So that the message that I am giving to you, you will not keep it for yourself. So the Bible yeah, as in Paul and the Mama, we won't qualify so. Glory be to Jesus. That is why the apostles are in heaven now. If they will keep the message in them, we will not hear the message of Jesus now. And because they open their heart and give this word freely, now they are in heaven. And the Lord wants me and you to do the same. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Is the Lord speaking to me and you tonight? He wants us to do the same. He wants us. 
to do the same. Try to make peace with your enemies. So that we can give to them what the Lord has given us. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Say amen. Amen. 41, the Lord says, And whoever compels you to go one mile, go with him too. Whoever dares you to go a mile, Go to with that person. Amen. The Lord Amen. wants you to be ahead of them. He wants you to prepare. That is why so many Christians, when they enter into something, they easily fall. And when they Christopher the grace, they are more. Because they are not ready to go extra mile. So when somebody does something to them, straight away they are offended. Because we are not ready to tolerate any bad thing that comes from others. But the Lord is telling you that in this message, prepare yourself. That come what may, you need to deliver the message. I'm telling you, you cannot keep the message with you, you have to deliver. This message has to be delivered to the unbelievers. So be prepared that no matter what they will do to you, you will enter them and give it to them. So instead of saying that you will go and marry with them, plan it too. So when you go and anything happens there, you are ready for it. Glory be to Jesus. Brother, let me tell you, this Christianity, it is so determined. We have to determine. Amen. Amen. Say, I'm following the embassy. I am ready. Amen. Problems come. I am ready. I have a message that I need to deliver. There was someone was seven day back and found the embassy. Brother, let, yeah. let me tell you something. I've worked with Royal Mills before. And when I was working with Royal Mail, I go in early morning and collected my mails. I will be given an area that I need to deliver my letters. I'm telling you, because I don't know the area very well, I can stay there until night. Because I am having the letters with me, I cannot throw them away. And I need to deliver the letters to them. At times, I will open somebody's door, deliver the letter, a dog will hold the letter and grab it. At times, you will enter into a compound house and they will lose their dogs around the house. <laughs> and you have a letter, important letter. Now we have been so let us so I was and we hear what's all the money for. At times you have to sign for that. That person have to come out and sign. And when they are coming, they come with their dogs. That means you should leave a corner. Let's say you are not going to buy. But then the letter, but then sign. 
as far as I And I am scared of doors in my life. That made me stop the work. <laughs> I will be holding the Hello. letters until night. I have some, you see, I have important documents with me. Brethren, the Lord has given you a salvation message. This salvation message is so important that you need to deliver. Do you know how long this message has been holding you? This message has been with you for three years, four years, five years, you can't deliver. And people are there to receive the letters, open it, and change. And perform a prayer up when two of us are moving letters at Troy, Babu Kain of the Sun. Do you know you are holding them not to enter into heaven? Oh, Jesus. We don't sound a wish that also one more prime to be for Sai Memolo. You don't know. When you want, they are waiting for you. I'm a child, they need the message to carry on their lives. I'm a yes, and Panama to get to my brother. They need to know God. And so, my brother, you have answered to their prayer. You have answered to their questions. And they are waiting. When are you going out there? When are you delivering this message? Because somebody has wronged you. Because somebody has gone out with your husband. So you are holding back the message. I'm telling you the Lord will judge you for that. Glory be to Jesus. And when I'm kind of ready, yes. I will hold the letters in my bag. It will be at my back like this. I will be walking around the, the area. Maybe maybe if maybe if it were to be gone, I will throw it away and go my way. <laughs> But I cannot do that here in UK. I have a sign for it. Brethren, the messages that the Lord is giving you have a sign for it. I'm telling you, the day the Lord will raise these questions to you, you will run away. Oh, have mercy, Lord. You will be regretted coming on this platform. <laughs> because you have the rightful message. And you are not delivering the message because of offense. offenses. I'm out for your body. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. 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 So the Lord is saying He doesn't want any grudges to come between us and them. We have to be free with them. Being free with them doesn't mean that go and sin as they are sinning. But the freedom between you and them is for you to deliver that message. And then you have cleared yourself. The Lord has made you as a watchman over his people. When the trumpet blows, you hear it and you are led them. You will hear the trumpet and you are let them. Now, if you hear the trumpet and you keep quiet, and these people will not turn around from their sin, they are they will die in their in their, their sin and their, their blood will be asked from you. But when you hear the trumpet and you alert them, they did not turn around from their sins, you have done your part. They will die anyway. 
but their blood will be upon their own head. So you clear yourself from this. Brethren, I'm telling you, <laughs> you don't know what is going on. I am trying to do my part. I make sure I deliver what the Lord will give to me. It is up to you to also do your part. So that together we will draw souls to the Lord. And then when the Lord appears, we will all meet in heaven. And then we will rejoice together. Somebody say amen. 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 Glory be to Jesus. Amen. 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 42 he says, Give to him who asks you, and from him who wants to borrow from you, do not turn away. Are you getting it? <laughs> you don't understand. Who said you by Mirase? Who could be so we be saying we are not going to be able to buy a cow? Glory be to Jesus. Amen. You don't understand. The Bible says, if you if you have it, tell me why. Give to anyone who asks you. If you have it, give to the person. Anyone that comes to borrow from you, don't turn that person away. Because that person, when you turn them away, they cannot get on with you again. You don't understand. There will be a stumbling block between you. I say, would they? Because that privacy of that person has been disclosed to you. Don't turn him away. You see, what the Lord is doing is to create peace among the people. So that his word will not be limited. In those days, it wasn't so. The Israelites are happy to receive from the Lord that go and destroy Amalekite and they will go and kill them. They will wait for the Lord to give them the green light. Go and destroy uh, 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 the, 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 the Jebusite and, and these people, and they will go and destroy them. Joshua and the children of Israel will be fastening and the the, 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 the purpose of this fastening is to make sure that they can triumph over their enemies. That fasting is not that they want to be holy for God. They want to fast and kill their enemies. But Jesus Christ says no. Because of my blood I shed for you. I want you to make peace with everybody. So now don't pray for your enemy again. Don't, 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 don't pray for them to die. Pray for them to leave. Glory be to Jesus. Is the Lord speaking to me and you? That is the only way the word of God can travel far. Somebody have grudged with someone. Because 
the Lord has given the person a message, that person will come and say, pull him down. No, pull him down. Pull okay, that man. Okay. Pull that man of God down. Pull him down. Okay, let's chill out about from. So that the message from the Lord cannot go forth. So they will go about gossiping about the man. They will go about gossiping about the woman. So that nobody will hear his or her message. I'm telling you that message is not for them. It is for God. As you are doing this, you are heaping judgment upon yourself. Glory be to Jesus. What happened to Alexander the coppersmith? And then to Alexander, Paul Bridge of Forno. Apostle Paul says, Alexander the coppersmith has worried us a lot. Now, Smelly Paul can say, Alexander, Paul Bridge of Forno, I have a year. He has made sure that our gospel that the Lord has given to us will not go far. Why shall I say, as I'm part of the dear man, or my name? So, because of this, may God pay him. According to and, his friends. Friends. and as for you, be careful of him. Because he was an obstacle to our gospel. I'm telling you, anyone that will try to block the gospel of Jesus, God will not take it lightly. That is why the Lord is starting from me and you. The Lord doesn't want his judgment to come upon us. He wants us to clear ourselves. He wants us to do things the way he wants us to do. So that people will repent. Glory be to Jesus Christ. And the 43 says, You have heard that it was said, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. This is what they used to say in that olden days. And you are now saying, What is your cousin? Because Joshua was not ready to die for the people. And you are now saying, Because Joshua was not ready to die for the people. Moses was not ready to die for the people. Moses is not in that crowd, so they want money. My those people they were not ready to die for anybody. But Jesus Christ was ready to die for man. Never be ready yesterday. I know I have said, so because of this, these laws have changed. It was said that love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But Jesus Christ is giving us a new law. Because it is his blood that is saving mankind these last days. Glory be to Jesus. So the 44 said, But I say to you, love your enemies, bless those who curse you, do good to those who hate you, and pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you. Are you getting it? Bless those who hate you. You hate me, I bless you. Because I have a message that I need to give to you. Glory be to Jesus. And when I'm called, I do you. If they're not speaking to me and you, but shall I let me know you look at that? Before we can go out, we need love to take our heart. And you are no, I stand never come on, sir. You are what you are, you are what you are coming on, sir. We need to see that these people will perish one day if we will not spread the gospel. And the four, I say, who said? So we have to make sure 
that we give them the rightful message. So that they will turn around from their sins. So whether they hate us or not, we love them. Because of the message that we are holding. Glory be to Jesus. Is the Lord speaking to me and you tonight? I believe from now on you will deliver that message. If you love somebody out there, deliver the message. If you love somebody out there, spread the message. If you love somebody out there, don't keep the message for yourself. That message is not for you alone. The message is for the whole world. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Say the loudest amen. Amen. He says pray for them. How many times have you prayed for your enemies? You don't pray for them. Any time that you want to pray for them, you 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 command fire to come and burn them. Every day I say, "Mom, pray, mom, be." I don't throw just a mama. She won't. You see, you have failed already. <laughs> Glory be to Jesus. Amen. 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 Is the Lord speaking to me and you? So you will start changing your prayers now. They say the best of us is Pray for them. If you know you are going to heaven, pray for them. So when you say have your country, you are not ready to wrestle with them. You want them to follow you to heaven, then pray for them. Or you want to go to heaven alone? <laughs> no way. Pray for them. Glory be to Jesus. Now you see Christians cursing people. You see preachers cursing people. The people that you said God have sent you to save them, you are cursing them. I wonder where these people came from. Brethren, the Lord is speaking to me and you. This is the time we need to love. Love your enemies and pray for them. Glory be to Jesus. That is the only way that message can be delivered. So that people will get saved. Jesus Christ is waiting upon me and you. For us to go out there and draw souls unto him. Let us go out there and draw souls. He says, 45. That you may be sons of your father in Heaven. If you pray for your enemies, it shows that you are a son or a daughter of God. So you can find it yourself. If you are not praying for your enemies, you are not a son or a daughter of God. Do you know why? Because God loves everyone. Look at the people that are provoking him to anger. 
you think in those days you can provoke God this way and go scot free? Upon the blood. And then, and then forget about everything. So we also have to look upon the blood. And then forget about everything. But now we are using the blood to curse them. Yes, <laughs> Amen. Amen. I Glory be to Jesus. Amen. Is the Lord speaking to me and you? <laughs> Amen. Amen. If we want to be the sons and daughters of God, then we have to love our enemies. Some of us love those who love them. Because that person borrowed you money. You love them. Oh, I love you too. You borrow me money. <laughs> and you hate those who hate you Jesus Christ is saying what will you gain if you only love those who love you you have done nothing because the worldly people even does more than you they love themselves than we love ourselves. I'm telling you, they can die together. Even though they will be going to hell, they are not bothered, I will go with you. So if you love somebody who loves you, you've done nothing. But what Jesus is requiring from me and you is to love your enemy. That is the first thing that he wants you to do. And that is the unique thing that you have to do. If somebody hates you and you love that person, if you are enemy to somebody and you love that person, oh, you are you are super. Because this things we don't see nowadays. And if you try and do this that the Lord is saying, then you are something else. The Lord Glory be to Jesus. So this is where we need to pursue. So that the gospel that the Lord has given to us will go far. They have given you track to share. You go to your enemy's door. You pass by. I don't want them to see me. I don't want to see them. You keep that leaflet to yourself. Brethren, our God is not a partial God. Our God reigns for the evil person and reigns for the good person. We give everybody the same thing at the same time. Because every single person has the spirit of God in them. Amen. Amen. Every single person has the spirit of God in them. Have you forgotten the day of creation? The Bible said the Lord got a, 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 a sand from the from the ground, mold it, and then breathe in the nostrils. And man became. 
And man became a living soul. So if that notorious man, that fetish priest, have the spirit of God in them, you don't know that. That is why the Lord loved them. If they are disobedient, that's not mean that the Lord hate them. One way or the other, we are also disobedient to the Lord, and the Lord loves us. Let us love ourselves. So that the message that has been given to us can be given to them. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Let me tell you a story, a small short story. I mean, come find to watch some crabbing shamble. My oh. last born, Perez. The <laughs> Perez. When he was growing, when, when he was a, a, a little boy, like maybe four years, three, four years. A brother knows some crabbing or baby feel like feel in the world. He used to tell his siblings. We are not catching him. We are not going to say. He will say. This is my dad. It's my dad alone. Amen. Forgetting that they came before you. But he says, It's my dad alone. No, no, you have go. Beyonce, go. It's my dad alone. <laughs> I'm telling you, God is not our dad alone. God is not our dad alone. God is everybody's dad. Oh, Jesus. Because he died for me and you. Oh. May the Lord bless his word. May he help us to love so we can distribute his message to the people may the lord bless all of us in jesus mighty name amen amen evangelist i will see may god bless you i can see you may god bless you may god bless you for joining us amen no. Brethren, let us love ourselves. Yeah, no. Let us love ourselves. Yeah, no. So that we will be called sons and daughters of God. Let us pray. Yeah, I want us to dedicate our heart and pray. Because we want to spread the message of Jesus. We don't want anything to be obstacle in our ways. We want love to take root in our hearts. So that we would not hold the message back to ourselves. Like that, that servant that received the talent and hide it under the ground. <laughs> he says, I will hide it. Do you think I'm a fool? So that I go and when I lose, you come and hold me responsible. I will keep it for you. Go. Go and spend a thousand years. Come back and take your talent and go. <laughs> Amen. Amen. We don't want to be like that person. We want to deliver anything that the Lord has given to us. So that souls will be one to Jesus. 
Let us pray for love. Open your mouth and pray. Shake up tire cover. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray for your love. 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 Father, grant us the love so we can love and be better to ourselves. I say that you have to do it. We pray all over the world. So that Father, we pray for your love. 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 Heavenly Father, we thank you and bless you for this love that you have bestowed upon your children. You have given to us, Lord. Father, with that love, we cannot grow. With that love, we cannot receive the right food. With that love, we cannot deliver what you have given to us. With that love, we cannot do anything. Father, we need you. Grant us love. 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 In the name of Jesus, when we do anything with that love, Father, we are not ready for you. If we want to be your sons and your daughters, then we need love in our heart. We need love in our heart. In the name of Jesus, our Heavenly Father, we thank you. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we honor you. In Jesus' mighty name. Say amen. Amen. May God bless all of us. Amen. And may God empower all of us. Amen. 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 Glory be to his name. Amen. Our service has come over. We are going to thank the Lord once again for what he has given to us. For giving us the strength to start it this way. We pray that he will still continue to help us so we can finish it. Amen. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Father, thank you, Lord. We bless you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. We bless you. Lord, mighty name of Jesus. Where that you have given to us, Father, we are praying for you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. Father, we thank you. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we bless you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, bless you, Lord. We thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Let us share the grace. Let us share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God. And the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, the goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless all of us in Jesus' name. Amen. We are coming back again tonight. So let us all come again. Let us pray. We are coming to pray. Very, very, very effective. And then we will seek the love that the God Almighty wants us to gain in our Christian life. And then from, from then, we will go and then worship the Lord. From then we will go and then speak his word. Amen. 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 Mama, hold it. Your hands is off. Yeah, daddy, please. I, I want to ask a question. Uh, let me let me finish Facebook first, please. Facebook, oh, may, okay. God, may God bless all of us. May he empower us. May he keep us. May he grant us love so we can share his messages with our brethren. May he help us to love our enemies so that 
they can also turn around and see the wonders of Jesus Christ. Until we meet again tonight, it's bye-bye.